Welcome, and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to change the coordinations from game console to game chat, add a fishing location in Lumbridge, and adding a casket that is randomly awarded while fishing. It can be used in any other skill, but in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to do it with fishing with a fishing net. To get started, what we need to do is we need to go and find the commands file, or commands java file. To do so, we need to go to com.feather.game.player.content and double click on the commands.java file. We need to press Control F and we need to look up chords, but we need to look up case chords. Now that we're there, it says player.getpackets.get, uh, sorry, dot send panel box message. Panel box message is the console panel, and we don't want it to do that, so we want to highlight panel box, erase it, and type in send game message total. Now Control S to save that. We can get out of the commands tab as now that is working. The next thing we want to do is find the com.feather.game.player.actions tab and we want to go into that and collect on the fishing.java file. Now that we're in the fishing.java file, scroll all the way down to you see Rocktail and the last of this enum. We want to add the new one which is called casket in caps with the brackets and the item ID is 405. You need the level requirement of 1 with 120 XP. Now the XP could be anything, the level could be anything, but the ID for the tutorial is 405. Now as we scroll down to public enum fishing spots, when we find net, the first net, which is the third one on the list, we got to go all the way across past the anchovies. We want to add a new one, which would be capital fish as the first letter only, and then all caps as casket. And then we want to save that file. Now what will happen is when we fish in this location, it will have a chance of getting these three items. Depending on the level, the more higher it is, the more better loot you'll get, obviously, um, and so forth. Now, close out of the Java file there. The next thing we want to do is open up our RuneScape servers folder and go to data or data slash NPC. So we need to go to the NPCs in the data section. Next, we want to click on unpack spawn list.txt. Now that that is open, we can actually, I'll bring it to my screen. Now that that is open, we want to go up top here and we want to comment out this little section here and call it Lumbridge. Okay. Like this. I want to save that quickly. We're going to minimize it because now we're going to need coordinations in the game. To do so, we want to go to Launcher, and then we want to go to Loader. Then we want to sign into our admin account and be in Lumbridge, which it will take a few seconds, and then we can do so. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, and we are in. Now, as you can see, I'm here, which is in Draenor. I need to go Chords, sorry, Telly, and I want to teleport to 3222, 3222, and 0. So now that we're back in Lumbridge, I want to run out to the fishing location in Lumbridge, which is down near the mining area, just a little south of the castle. So now that we're at the mi at mining and fishing area, we're almost there anyway, you'll notice that there's no fishing location nodes here and no NPC. We can add those in later, which is not a problem whatsoever. So the first thing we're going to do is, I don't know why that's there on the floor, but we're going to go here and type in two semicolons with chords. Now the chords have come up in this. And why have they come up in that? I'm going to tell you exactly the reason for it being. If we close out of this and restart the client, I didn't close a client from a previous time. So that's why that was a bit messy. So you don't have to do this because it's the first time you're opening it, so it should be working perfectly fine for you. You should have seen the chords in game. For me, I had to restart. And this can happen, especially if you don't close down the programs correctly. Okay, so now as you can see, all them items have disappeared. So now my chords should come up in chat. So the next thing we need to realize is we can't walk on water so how are we going to get the coordination for the water the best way to do it is walk one step back from the edge 
and then do chords again. So as you can tell, it says three, two, four, four, and three, two, four, three. That means we're getting lower in this. So that means that needs to get higher by one digit. So if we're standing here and it's three, two, four, four, it needs to be three, two, four, five by three, one, five, two by zero. So the next thing that we're going to do is open up that file again underneath Lumbridge. We're going to type in the ID number 327, which is the fishing node, one space only, this one here, and we want to type in that coordination that we had, which was three, two, four, five, space, three, one, five, two, space, zero. And then we want to control S to save. Now we need to get out of the game, close it completely off. And now this is the part which is going to take us a little while to complete. Now that we're back into the data NPCs folder, we need to click on the packed spawns and we need to delete that file. Now once deleted, we have to go back into Eclipse. We will have to use the launcher. And as you can see, it's packing NPC spawns. Now, sometimes that can take a bit depending on how many spawns you're actually packing. Same thing with shops and so forth. Now, once we've done that and it's loaded correctly, we want to load up the loader again. So we're in the client. We want to type in the admin password and username, which mine by default is 123 by 123. Once we log in, we should see the fishing node in the water next to us. And as you can tell, the fishing is in the water next to us. Now what we want to do is we want to add this item. So item 303, that would be the small fishing net. Now if we go to fish, as you can tell, I just got a casket, then I've got a raw shrimp. Let's see what else we get. Raw shrimp. So it's a random drop. See, it's going to come every so often. But we can change the random of how often that will come by changing it around. But this is just to show you that you can add new kinds of items to your fishing. In a future tutorial, I will be teaching you how to open the casket to either get a reward or to get nothing. Hopefully this video was very simple, very easy, and you enjoyed it. You did learn a few new things that I didn't even learn at this stage of learning to make RSPSs. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and comment below if you have any questions. Thank you.